Hola, hola, my loves. I am back with another video. This time is a fall smoky tutorial. Um, this is definitely a, I would say more of a traditional fall smoky eye look. It is definitely glam. It is definitely dramatic. Um, the lashes give this look life. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. This I, I look right here. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't go into the video without subscribing. Go right now. I will wait for you right now. Go right now and subscribe to my channel right now. Okay awesome so now that you've subscribed to my channel don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to share don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos that i will be posting this is my first fall makeup look i cannot believe we're in fall and i haven't posted any fall makeup looks this is my favorite time of year it's my favorite time um as far as makeup and i haven't done anything on my channel as far as fall so I am so sorry but yes this is my first fall makeup look there will be others so don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos also I want to quickly remind everyone that I have a giveaway right now going on for the entire month of October everybody can participate as long as they're in the United States and Puerto Rico it is not an international giveaway the product that I'm giving away is this baby right here this baby has helped me through um, my entire hair loss situation you know i will link the video um up here and i will also link my rheumatoid arthritis video if you don't know why i suffer from really bad hair loss that will explain everything if you know somebody that has an autoimmune disease or if you yourself have an autoimmune disease and you suffer from you know the hair loss to get the uh, weight gain all of the you know the the tiredness all of the mood swings everything that goes along with that I have to say I'm definitely there with you I know exactly what you're feeling um, but for those of you that are suffer suffering from hair loss whether it's because you have an autoimmune disease whether it's because of age whether it's genetics whatever the case is this product has helped me so much and I'm not here to say that I guarantee that it's going to work for you but it has definitely been a blessing in my life and I want to pass that blessing on to you and hopefully it'll be as great to you as it is to be as it has been to me um this baby has helped me through my hair loss it has helped me regrow my hair my hair is continuously growing even though it's has it ha it's falling out so much it's continuously growing because of this product so i have that giveaway um going on right now you have the entire month of october to go ahead and participate the rules are very simple it's only three rules you have to be subscribed to my youtube channel you have to be sub you have to be following me on my instagram channel and you have to leave a comment down below not on this video but on that giveaway video with your email address because that will be um my method of contact for you guys so if it's very easy so if you suffer from hair loss or you know somebody that suffer from hair loss and can benefit from this definitely go ahead and participate um, and hopefully it'll help you as much as it it's helped me so this has been one heck of a long intro so now let's get into this beautiful makeup okay so today we're gonna start with our eyes because I am doing a smoky eye and it's going to be a dark smoky eye even though it's a fall smoky eye so um, we're gonna start with our eyes first and we're going to use the baby right here the new the new Morphe 35 M palette so it comes with a little um, plastic that has the name of every eyeshadow which I will probably just tape it up here so that way I know exactly what color what shade I'm using as I am using it so I've already played with some of the colors just because as soon as I got it I started playing with it um, I like to swatch it right away to see the pigmentation see what I'm working with and as usual as you know with pretty much all of the Morphe palettes it's very pigmented um, there's no complaint there the palette is $23 um, and it brings 
It brings 35 colors. Duh, 35M. I just got that. So it brings 35 shades. And I have to say, they are beautiful. The first thing that I fell in love with was the color range. So I have a lot of greens. As you guys know from other videos, I don't have many um, matte greens or even shimmery greens that I really like. Um, except for the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette that now I own and, and it has some greens in there. But even so, it doesn't have light um light green colors which i am not too fond of i'm not you know i don't run to those for those colors but for particular looks you need those colors right so um you know it has of course the the warm tones the browns the oranges the reds all of that and then it has purples oh, it's my favorite shade it's my favorite color i think it's a beautiful color to put in your eyes it really brings out you know brown eyes even blue eyes i mean different shades of different colors uh, of eyes it just brings them out and makes them stand out even more you know especially on those smoky looks so i really love this palette you know, it has a good uh a variety of matte colors as well as shimmery colors so that's awesome just to give you a quick little swatch on camera I'm going to um, swatch this one right here just because it's a beautiful color I'm going to swatch a matte as well I'm gonna go with this one then I'm gonna go into the green so I'm gonna go with this green right here and then maybe this one right here so I'm not really pressing on the palette I did go around it a few times but I'm not really pressing hard on the shade I don't want to mess it up so this is what they look like so as you can see hopefully you can see them um, they are very very pigmented um, so I'm just gonna do a quick swatch on my hand I'm just applying them on my hand So look how beautiful that looks. Can you see it? <laughs> Much better. Look how beautiful that looks. Um, it's definitely, definitely, definitely very pigmented. I highly recommend it um, as far as pigmentation, as far as price. Um, $23 for 35 shades. You can't really beat that. Um, when it comes to colors, I think Morphe has a down pack with... Um, as far as pigmentation, as far as blendability, they're very easy to blend, very easy to work with. Um, so yeah, that is the 35M palette, the, the um, one of their newest palettes. And I am definitely, I cannot wait to go to town with this one. So before I start doing my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and prep my eyes using my Morphe Eyelid Primer right here. You guys know before you do any kind of eyeshadow application you need to prep your eyes otherwise the color won't be the same it's not going to look on your eye the same way it does on the palette plus you are going to have creasing the eyeshadow is not going to last all day as it should um so you definitely need a primer once i put my primer i'm going to go quickly go ahead and set um that eye primer just because I don't want it to be sticky so I'm just going to take my powder and I'm just going to lightly press on there very quickly just so just to take some of that um tackiness away so we're gonna go um we're going like I said I'm going to do a fall smoky eye so I am actually going to start with I am actually going to start with some of I'm gonna start with this shade right here not the green sorry i'm gonna start with this shade right here the name of that shade is play it cool so i think that's a perfect transition coat uh color for me and we are going to start applying that generously on our crease So now that I've applied that color, I'm going to go into this color right here, this color right here, and I'm going to also apply that on my crease. That shade is FOTD, okay? So I'm going to apply that shade also on the crease.
So now that I have that, I actually want to take another shade and I want to put it above that. And I want that shade to be a bit more orangey. So I'm just going to quickly take another brush. I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is more orangey. And I'm going to kind of apply it on top of the one that I just applied and the one that I applied before just because I want that orangey shade to kind of shine up, peek through there. That is a very pigmented shade. And the red, the, the, the red, and the name for that shade is red carpet. So it is definitely, definitely pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and take another brush, another fluffy brush with no product. And I'm going to kind of go over that and just kind of remove some of the product that I apply. Just some of the excess. Okay, so I'm actually going to go into my Julia's Place Warrior Palette and I'm going to go into this dark brown shade. It's called Mino, Mino, this one right here. And that's the one that I'm going to start applying on my lid and see if that one works out just a bit better than this purple shade. I see the amount of fallout I have on my face right now it's unbelievable it's crazy unbelievable it's like wow wow okay so I'm gonna go back into this brush which is the one I use for my crease and I'm going to I'm not going to add any more product but I'm going to start blending everything together I'm actually going to take the brush and I'm going to um, spray it real quick with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Just because I'm going to go into that brown with the uh, brush already wet and see if that helps a little as far as making the color darker, which is what I want. Because I still feel like I want more, like a little bit more richness in there. Okay, so that's more like what I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone. So I'm going to take another brush. I'm actually going to take this pencil brush right here from Morphe. Again, of course, and I'm going to highlight my um, brow bone and I'm going to do that. Let me close this out. So I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm going to use this shade right here from the palette, which I think it's a beautiful shade for your brow bone, even for your inner corner. The name of that one is Light of the Party, very appropriate. And it is a bit shimmery. Definitely, definitely a beautiful shade. Okay, so then now that I've done that, I'm going to um, moisturize my skin very quickly. And I'm going to apply my primer. I'm going to use the Tarte Poreless Primer. Focusing mainly on my T-zone area, which is where we typically have larger pores. And, you know, we tend to oil up a bit more. So we need to make sure that we prime that area very well so that we don't have any creasing or excessive oils that will remove our makeup, anything like that. 
Okay, so I'm going to move on to my foundation and I'm going to apply the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I know it's dirty. Don't judge me. I haven't cleaned it. Don't judge me. And I use it almost on a daily. So it is what it is. And I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques um, foundation brush. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a concealer. I'm going to use today my, which one am I going to use? I'm going to use today my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just because I haven't used it in a while. I applied way too much. And I am going to blend everything with my little Morphe makeup sponge. Now I'm going to move on to my setting powder and I'm going to set everything in place with my Derma my I'm going to set everything in place with my Derma Blend translucent powder. And it is now time to put some color on this pale skin. So I'm going to use my Benefit Pretty palette in the U pretty in the USA palette. So this one, as you guys know, brings the Hula Bronzer, a blush, and it also brings the um, Dandelion Twinkle uh, highlighter, which I think it's so beautiful. It's definitely blend. It's definitely buildable. So it, I just I love that. I love that highlighter. Okay, and now for my nose, I like to use a thinner brush because I feel like I can get a more um, crisp line. So I like to use a brush like this. This one is from e.l.f. and it's definitely thinner. If I don't want to use um, something like that, I can also use a eyeshadow brush. Something like this where it's also thin on the sides and that way I can kind of make a better line. So once I have the line done, then I'm going to start blending because you don't want to have those crazy harsh lines. So then I start blending from both angles. Okay, so here we are. Our nose is snatched to the gods. It's like on point the way I want it to be. I know it's still kind of harsh on the lines, but remember when I'm, we're going to apply powder on top of that. So that's going to remove some of the excess and it's not going to look as harsh, but it's definitely going to still look uh, thin, you know, snatched just the way you want it to be. So I'm going to um, go ahead and apply my blush. And I'm gonna use everything from this palette since I have it out. I'm going to go ahead and apply some highlighter and I'm going to use this wet and wild uh, highlighting brush that I just got um I actually got it like two months ago and I thought it was so cute you know it's like okay wet and wild I see you I see you So look at that, look at that. I am liking, I'm liking a lot, okay? So, I am really, really liking a lot at this point. So now I'm actually going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to be using an Anastasia uh, brow pencil. The brow wiz, and this is in the shade Chocolate. I like it because it's not, um, I think it's the perfect shade for me. It's not as dark as the other one I was using, so. Okay, so the eyebrows are done. I'm going to do a wing liner. I feel like I haven't done a 
good wing liner in a while so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to use my Physicians Formula liquid liner so let's go ahead and do a killer wing line for this look So I'm going to take this uh, flat brush from Smashbox and I'm going to go into the brown that we used and I'm going to apply that really, really tight, tightly on my, um, really close to my lower lash line because we're going to smoke that out. So I remembered about the fallout and I actually had a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some setting powder right there. Because I don't want my face to be ruined by this fallout. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go back into that um, red carpet color with a small brush, which is actually the one I used for the brown. I already cleaned it, and I'm going to start blending everything out or smoking everything out, I should say. So now that I've done that the way I want to, I need to apply a shade for my inner corner. And I'm going to actually apply, I'm going to clean this brush again, and I'm going to actually apply this color right here from the same Warrior palette from Juvia's Place. And it's called More Me. This shade right here, this middle shade. And we're going to apply that on our inner corners because we also want our inner corners to pop. Well, they are definitely popping, but I think I need something just a bit lighter just because of my skin complexion. So I'm going to go into the Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill palette, Arm and Dangerous. I know I'm using a lot of palettes on this video. You're going to have to forgive me for that. And I'm going to use this color right here, this really white pearlescent color. And I'm going to just tap in there real quick and apply that on my inner corner. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove all this powder on my face. And lastly, I'm going to apply my lashes and I'm going to be using the um, Forever Lux Lashes. And this one is in the style Celine. And these are beautiful, beautiful lashes. I definitely love the way they look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those. And while I'm waiting for my lashes, um, for my glue to dry on my lashes, I'm going to apply my lipstick and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade 1993. So it's a beautiful brown shade. So I think the name is so appropriate because that's all we were in 1993 were, were those rich brown colors and, you know, brown like brick red colors. I know I did at least. Well, girls, and this is the final look. I really, really hope you like it. I love these eyelashes. They're definitely going to become one of my new favorite lashes. Again, these are from from Forever Lux Lashes, and they're in the style Celine. I highly, highly recommend it, these lashes. If you want drama, 
this is drama if you're going for that dramatic glam look these are the lashes for you so this is the final look i did have you know this is for me this is a typical fall smoky eye glam i mean we have the browns we have the reds we have those beautiful colors that we see in the fall we have the brown lips we have you know the glowing skin i mean we have everything going the dramatic lashes everything so i really hope you guys like this video i hope you like how this look came out i hope you guys try it at home this is definitely a look that i would actually do just to go out on a date with my husband um which by the way tomorrow is our 20th anniversary yes 20 years together and i just um I might even try this look for tomorrow, you know, perfect for day night. So yeah, definitely this is a favorite, one of my favorite fall looks that I've done on my channel. So if you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Up. don't forget to don't forget to share this video with your friends if they're also makeup lovers so yeah that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to participate on the giveaway if you haven't if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm going to link the video up here so you guys can go and watch it and if you would like if you would like you can participate um and good luck to everyone and that's all I have for you guys today so I will see you on my next video Bye.